Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am actually going to be doing a pantry organization video. We are moved into my house. Excuse the background, as you guys can see, I took everything out of boxes. We went grocery shopping yesterday. So I wanted to go ahead and organize my pantry with you guys. I know a lot of you guys do enjoy the organization videos and I love watching these myself and I love doing them. So I thought it would be the perfect video for today's and can we actually admire this lighting though look Karina Karina's gonna be helping me in today's video by the way guys oh mm, you're cute yeah. I think your kitchen has a good sliding yeah <laughs> <laughs> I know but guys, I'm super excited for today's video. I'm going to be, um, I'm hoping that I order two containers from Amazon. It says it was going to get here today. I hope they don't get here like late in the afternoon. I don't think they've gotten here. Um, I hope they don't get here late in the afternoon and they get here in time for the pantry video because I had to get some pasta organizers. Um, but I'm hoping that we have everything to organize today's pantry and you guys are going to be seeing me organize basically the kitchen, to be honest. I'm going to be organizing um, the little pantry area and then my fridge. So I will be showing Showing you guys everything if you guys are new to my channel hi my name is Blanca Yvette and if you guys are not new to my channel then welcome back if you guys are new to my channel make sure you guys hit that subscribe button before you guys head out to join the family so I'm super excited if you guys are enjoying this video make sure you guys give it a huge thumbs up and let's go ahead and get started with today's video okay guys so this is what we have so far for the pantry I was trying to kind of play around with what I wanted everything to look like um, we do have an extra cereal box but i feel like we don't need that much cereal um we should be okay with the containers we have right now and then i got this shelf here for like some canned foods i'm just gonna try to lay it out and try to keep this pantry area as clean as possible just because in the house the way that i designed it there's literally storage for everything so i want to make sure that i'm utilizing all the storage and then this just stays really nice and clean um i also got those two baskets and down here are where we're gonna have snacks i don't know if it's the smartest idea just because it is at arm's reach for the kids but i wanted it to be easier for them to just kind of grab and go and i rather than be able to grab these and grab like any of these um bottles and then them accidentally break them more camila because she likes to be just a traviesa so like i just want to make sure that she's not breaking any of like the sauces or anything like that so i did leave the snacks here below so we're gonna start filling everything and organizing this pantry
literally all day um, you know finishing the pantry and just making sure that everything was organized and ready for uh, the kitchen so I am gonna show you guys just kind of how I have my food stored when I designed this kitchen and the pantry area I made enough storage to pretty much have everything have its place so I have like a section for fruit I have a section for um, like things that would normally be in your actual pantry so that's why I want to kind of show you guys what I'm talking about and why it might look like there's no food in here or empty because I was telling Melissa yesterday I was like I don't know why it feels like our pantry is missing stuff like it's empty but I guess the typical stuff that you would normally put in there like fruits and like uh, boxes of like I don't know pancake mix and cake mix um, stuff like water bottles and storage like all that stuff it all has like different areas in my home um, so yeah I feel like I'm just like rambling but you guys are gonna know exactly what I'm talking about but I cannot wait to show you guys so this is the uh, pantry obviously and I'm in like a little room when I give you guys the full house tour you guys will know exactly what I'm talking about but to my right is my laundry room and then I have the pantry area and then we have like cabinets here down here where I have everything stored so I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I'm talking about okay guys so this is the pantry this is the door that I selected for the pantry I've shown it to you guys in my um, other video that I did for you guys we went with like gold accent handles for all the doors but I'm obsessed. Obviously, I have to keep the pantry looking clean AF at all times, but this is the finished pantry, guys. Okay, guys, so immediately to my left, which would be my right when I walk into the pantry, um, we have a whole pasta section. Like I mentioned to you guys, I love, love pasta. I love spaghetti. I love chicken alfredo. Like, I just love pastas. Um, here in this little section on these containers, I got all these containers. I'll actually link them down below for you guys, but I got all these containers on Amazon. They also have them on the at the container store. Um, but these are for my fideos. I call all the sopita uh, fideos, so just in case you guys hear me saying fideo for the elbows. Um, those are the ones that I have here. And then I have a bunch of different just style pastas. We have linguine, fettuccine, spaghetti. Um, we have some lasagna. The lasagna, guys, we are actually going to be making a bomb lasagna recipe for you guys it's going to be probably up next week but karina and i are going to be doing a cookie with the medic so which i'm super excited i haven't done one in a minute um for all you lazy bitches that are like me and don't like to spend a lot of time in the kitchen you guys are going to get a bomb 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 lasagna meal um so then down here we have just some more pasta we have some pan pasta rigatoni um i don't know what this one's called it's the little bow tie ones and then we have um, some goldfish for Max and Camila, and then we have some granola for Lisa's and myself for our yogurts, um, all that good stuff. And then I got all these little like twisty thingies at the container store. It's like the bamboo material. Um, I don't know if is it bamboo material or is it bamboo style wood. Yeah. Yeah, that, that part. So I have like all hot sauces, um, ketchup, all that good stuff. And then down here, okay. how do you I do? Look? How do I look? <laughs> okay so um i did want to put them at like arm's reach i don't know if it's going to be a bad thing because obviously max and camila are going to be able to come in here and just grab snacks but they don't really know how to open these yet i haven't taught them that you just kind of like, push and they open um max will usually come in here and he'll grab the whole thing and then he'll take it to the living room like mommy like we want a snack um but hopefully it's not too bad it's just obviously everything all these other containers i'd rather them have access to these rather than like them dropping the pasta container or anything like that so we just have a bunch of snacks we have some gushers fruit snacks we have some famous amos which are some of my favorite cookies um we have some ritz uh, camila loves ritz and then we have oreos camila also loves oreos this is all camila section because she just loves munching on hella stuff um and then we have these two baskets just to put like random stuff that's stuff that i didn't really want visible so um, we have like all our like our potato chips and stuff like that in here and then in here we have just like some miscellaneous stuff um, and then here to the top we have cereal 
Um, this is just a variety of different cereals that we all love and enjoy. The kids obviously love like the sweeter stuff. Um, Elisa's and I usually will gravitate more towards like the um, Special K. I've been, I've been loving the Special K cereal for a minute now. Um, and then we also just tried some new cereal, which I have this empty one that I'm going to fill in for. And I'm going to, I'm pretty sure you guys are already updated by now. Oh no, you guys are going to see in my next video what cereal I'm talking about. But I have to actually put it in the container, um, which, which is a little bit of a healthier alternative. And then down here we have just like cans and sauces. So we have like a bunch of um, flavored meat prego sauces. Just because I'm going to be making a lasagna recipe, I bought extra. Um, but I'm also going to try to not buy so much to keep in my pantry. Like I'm only going to be buying as I need. Because something that we definitely would do a lot before was we would buy so much food. Like if we were f like feeding a family of 10 and a lot of stuff would expire. We wouldn't even get to them. The good thing with canned food, like they do last a long time. But I also don't want there to be just a bunch of stuff like in the house, you know. So we'll just kind of shop as we're eating. Um, but we have corn. I love corn. I love corn with my rice. Um, and then we have some pizza sauce. We have tomato sauce for my rice. We have some pato for my flauta. So I need to... I don't think I've ever done a flautas recipe, huh? I'm going to do, I'm going to do a flautas recipe. They're fire um, for you guys. And then on this side, we just have like some um, syrup. We have some Caesar salad dressing, pesto for pasta, um, and all that stuff. So then down here, we have, um, let me actually get out, um, peanut butter. We have jelly Nutella. We have um, honey. We just have a bunch of stuff for like sandwiches. We have bread. We have some snack lighted rice cakes. Uh, those are bomb AF with like peanut butter and jelly um, for like a quick little snack. And then we have some sandwich bread. So that's pretty much just like some bread section. And then we have Ulises' favorite popcorn, which is here. It's the Kirkland brand from Costco. And it's honestly so bomb, guys. Like I used to be such a big fan of what's the, the name of the other one? Pop, pop something? The popcorn from that blue one. Yeah, I know. I, I yeah, it. I forgot what it's called, but I used to be a big fan of them. And these are actually so good. Like, they taste bomb AF. And I'm not really a popcorn girl. Um, and then down here, we have another little snack area. These are also from um, Karina's. Karina's. <laughs> Camila's favorite. They're the, uh, ma what are they called? Mandalay Mandalines? Mandalines? Mandal I don't know. They're like mandalines. And they make her are both the best. <laughs> yeah. So this one, um, Camila, she can eat these all day. They're like literally her favorite. Um, and then we have like cupcakes and Rice Krispies and Twinkies. Um, and here, this is more like my section. Like this is the, the stuff that I like to snack on because I love little, I love like pastries and stuff like that. So this is for me as well. Um, and then up here, I have to get some labels and then I also have to get a little one for our powdered sugar. But basically we have sugar here on these containers. These were my cookie jar containers. I ended up putting my um, sugar in here with these little like holder, I mean these little um, spatula thingy majiggers. I hate when I have to, when I want to explain something, nunca me sale, dude, like <laughs> these little pour thingy majiggers, pour things, okay? So I have sugar here and then I have a pancake mix. So I don't really like like I love baking cakes and stuff, but I like baking the one from the box. Like you will never see me baking with like flour um, or anything like that. And I've never really cooked with flour. Do you cook with flour? Yeah, I don't cook with flour. Clearly I'm not cooking from scratch. So I have just pancake mix in here. And then we have these containers that I haven't found a tapadera for, but I'm probably gonna put like a brown rice and then we have some beans. And then we have um, just jasmine rice here so we can make some rice. Literally, like, that's all you ever see in my house. Like, rice, beans, uh, pasta. Like, that's literally all we like to cook. And then here we have just some teas. I love tea. The chamomile tea is, like, literally everything. The manzanilla is, cures everything. Like, if you're Latino, you know, like, every Mexican household literally has uh, the manzanilla and it's the only thing that really works for my stomach and i'm so happy that i found something that works but anytime that i eat something that's gonna give me like that uh, that gallbladder pain that i used to get before i had my gallbladder taken out um the manzanilla tea just literally takes the pain away so i'm honestly obsessed with it so that's pretty much how i organized the pantry which i am loving i love the simplicity of it i love how clean it lo looks how it's just gonna look nice and appetizing where you just kind of come in here and do your thing so let me show you guys the other areas where we just added those extra stuff that you guys are probably wondering where the hell they're at
Okay, so I have this little section in my like little hallway area by the kitchen. Um, here is my pantry and then right over here is where I have like these baskets. So these baskets, this style was the kitchen that I had before when we first moved in. They were already here and I saved them. I was like, you know what? I feel like we can modernize them and just keep them. So they're like, like my favorite from the pantry, but basically it's these baskets here and they keep your fruits. And I don't know, like I feel like I've never seen stuff like this. And when I saw them, I was like, okay, there's just no way we can get rid of any of these things. And mind you, the layout of the kitchen, we redesigned everything, but it's the same layout that they had before. We just made it look a little bit more modern, but we have just apples. We have a bunch of fruit around here and with these baskets, baskets they actually come out. So you can take the whole basket out and take it to wherever you want. But we have just a bunch of fruits and like lemons, stuff like that. We have our bananas over here. Um, and then in these sections, like we could put probably like a bread. So like a different little section, but I basically did like a medicine cabinet up here. And then down here, we just put like vitamins and all of Ulises's pre-workouts and stuff like that. Okay, so this little area here, this is where my microwave and my oven is. So I put basically like all the extra pancake mix and uh, all of like the Betty Crocker uh, cupcakes and cake making in this section. This is where we're gonna have like all of our cones, like ice cream cones. My family, like anytime that my sister visits, Ice cream and cakes is their thing. Like they're always like, they want to make we make a cake. They want to make ice cream. They want like that's like dessert for us, you know. So um, that's where I'm gonna keep like all those extra knickknacks. I am gonna buy like sprinkles and all that stuff for like the cupcakes for like the kids, um, so they can go ahead and be creative and fun. Um, we're gonna put like chocolate chips and just stuff like that. So I love that there's this section here right next to the oven for all like the baking goods and stuff like that. So I even have like this little top area organizer, and I'll give you guys a whole tour once the kitchen like is like fully fully ready and decorated but everything has its storage and coming this way. now we're here we do have um our fridge and i did organize the fridge you guys saw it in the video as well while we were organizing and this is kind of how it came out we ended up just putting like a bunch of drinks our tortillas our eggs our fruit ham all the stuff that we usually eat uh, on a daily basis and stuff like that um, on here and I'll give you guys like a full 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 like real tour of organizing the fridge Once we um, Get everything that we need because I still need like extra containers and stuff But all the extra stuff that you would think that would be in a pantry as well like juices water bottles um, and like Energy drinks all that stuff. We have a whole section for we just have a bunch of storage all around this whole unit Where we can put those extra stuff, but yeah, that is pretty much kind of how I have everything set up I really enjoyed doing this video with you guys this organization video You guys already know if you guys have been following me on Instagram for a minute on social media for a minute You guys already know that I just love organization and I never really bring you guys along I always just kind of show you guys on my Instagram stories So it was cute for me to be able to film a whole video for you guys just you know organizing my pantry with me um, let me know if you guys like these videos if you guys enjoyed it that way I can definitely start doing them a little bit more I cannot wait to do the full tour for you guys like I'm honestly so excited especially for the kitchen because we Made so many little areas custom um, We have like a charging station we have um, oh, I didn't even show you guys. I do have a separate spice rack in case you guys are wondering where all the spices are at for cooking. They're literally right next to the stove. You pull out the spice racks and you have all the spices, salt, you have all the pepper, you have um, all the garlic, salt, all that stuff. It's literally right next to the, sto to the stove with my oils and all that good stuff. So I just love that the whole kitchen just genuinely has um a place for everything and i feel like that's like the number one thing that i wanted to do for my kitchen when i designed it is that i wanted to know where everything was at and i wanted everything to have its special place so i can't wait to give you guys a full tour of everything i might have to separate them into like a few different videos and stuff and do like a full kitchen tour full house tour like all that stuff so we can really get into like all the details of everything that we created in this home but i'm super excited guys and i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up and i will see you guys on my next video love you guys